uh, a more or less uh, uh, a low or a lower complication. Infections, how to treat them? Remove the whole system or just the port? And interestingly, I learned that the umbilicus is a really potential infected area. And now we place in the single incision area the port in the umbilicus area, where then the plastic surgeon could wonderfully remove the port with his operation. Even we should consider that ports could create erosions on the skin if they are not proper placed and create an infection of the whole system. And a very interesting phenomenon, if we create a foreign body around the, st of the, around the stomach, we create motility disorders. And even in patients where the band is completely empty, completely deflated, you could have achalasia like this motility disorders and we don't know why. So it's a pretty interesting uh, phenomenon that we have complications, even if we go to congresses and see and talk that there are centers having no complications. The main question is, should we revise them or convert them? And back to my initial statement, it is difficult to make it simple. Our, so to say, algorithm, I know that we all love algorithm, I hate algorithm. We make it simple. If a patient is satisfied with initial satisfaction, initial satisfied with the band, we consider a rebanding, if possible. If a patient was never satisfied with the band, we convert them to a rouen wire gastric bypass. And that's it. We do not perform malabsorptive procedures, I have to learn as an oncology surgeon that I cannot cure all the patients. And I'm really happy to help and to treat 90% of my patients. If you have no complications and the patient is really unsatisfied with his weight loss, and if a patient requested, then we perform a gastric bypass procedure as a redo surgery. And there are a few landmarks, a few steps where I say, okay, when we start doing this conversion, first of all, we dissect the gastroesophageal junction, we clarify them, we open the gastrogastric sutures always, open the band and try to keep the pouch with a good blood supply. That will mean we uh, start dissecting the stomach one or two centimeters below the initial placed band. So starting with the atesolysis, open the gastrogastric sutures, remove the scar tissue on the stomach open the band and you see a very nice blood supply here below the band and this is what we really should preserve. Staple, create the pouch, pay attention because posteriorly you have adhesions and here you see wonderful the splenic vessels waiting for disasterful bleeding. So we perform a circular stapled anastomosis. Here's the, f uh, the end of the gastric pouch creation. Gastric pouch, around five to six centimeter length, very small, and a circular gastrojejunostomy and removal of the enterotomy with the linear stapler. So that's the gastric pouch, gastrojejunostomy, that's a redo surgery after gastric banding. Proximal rural wide gastric bypass, we do not believe in malabsorptive, anticholic, antigastric, elementary limb, 100 centimeter, 21 circular stapled anastomosis, and the enteroanastomosis of six centimeter. So experience with rebanding 
in uh, 26 patients. So all those complications, pouch enlargement, slippage, replacement, created one re-slippage. Erosion, we had one rebanding, a uh, re-erosion. Infection, esophageal dysmotility, replacement from a high pressure band to a low pressure band due to the fact that those two patients were not illegal for a bypass surgery due to kidney transplant and one cardioverter. A bypass after banding, even in the same diagnosis. Back, if a patient was not initially satisfied with the band, we convert them to a bypass. And the problems we had with this were stoma stenosis with dilatation, abscess with laparoscopic drainage, and again, stoma stenosis where we did gastroscopic dilatation. But we also have patients with no reoperation. As I mentioned, patient, you cannot all treat, you cannot all help them. And those seven patients having no band, having no bypass, have at the moment more weight than before the first procedure. So the information I would like to give you is how do the patient work now? The maximum weight loss we had for the patients with the gastric banding and VBG was 64% of excessive weight loss. Those two groups where they got a bypass or a band had this weight curve. You see the redo surgery with a bypass, the people, the patients do benefit much more from weight loss. But if you see an excessive weight loss on re-banding patients, and the number 223 are collected, VBG patients and re-banding patients are 58%, and that's not that bad if we compare it to other procedures. So our quality control is a very simple one. That's the barrels concerning weight loss, medical condition, complications, reoperation, and the quality of life. So the staff member is doing uh, the weight loss, reoperations documentation, and the quality of life the patient will fill out. It's a very fast, a very simple uh, mechanism, a very simple protocol where you can do your follow-up, where you can do your quality control. And you get a score. And if you have a score less than one, it is considered as a failure. And even patients having a Barrow score less than one and they wanted the band, you see those patients do gain weight after the procedure. So we found out that this Barrow is a very suitable uh, possibility to do your quality control and even to find more or less, is this an indication to perform a band or a bypass? Patients with a barrels bigger than one, they do benefit. So these 164 rebanding patients do uh, drop down their body mass index from 39 to 29. But if you have a low barrels, they do gain weight after surgery. And if we compare our bypass patients less than one and bigger than one, you see no significant difference. So I would love to say patients having a low barrels, less than one, with the bypass, they will really have more benefit compared to a band, no wonder. So I would love to give you a, a short take home message. If you have initial good and excellent barrels, you could consider again a restrictive procedure, mainly or namely uh, laparoscopic banding. It is effective and less invasive compared to a re-bypass or to perform a bypass procedure. But if you have initial low barriers, a low quality of life, a rural y gastric bypass as a redo surgery is suitable. So that's my take-home message, and would love to discuss this later on. Thank you.